Before building the larger quad, I want to practice flying in acro mode. Besides using a simulator, flying one of these extremely small quads inside your house is a great way to learn. And of course, 3D printing the FPV camera mount was mandatory. You've seen these on YouTube and you probably already own one. I've been wanting to build one of these micro quads for ages and here are all the parts required to build one. There's only one small problem. How do you mount the FPV camera to the frame? The B-Core flight controller from Banggood originally comes with Clean Flight installed, but I want to use Betaflight. So I've flashed the latest version of Betaflight onto this B-Core F3 board. Then once connected to Betaflight, in the configuration section, setting the brushed components, turning on motor stop, I don't want the motors to spin when I've armed the quad. I've left all the PID tuning and rates at default. In the receiver tab, I've set up my transmitter to match the midpoints being as close to 1500 as possible. I've set up two auxiliary buttons, one for arming and one to switch between rate or acro and stabilize mode. I've enabled the RC deadband and the yaw deadband to 5. And lastly, in the modes, I've set up auxiliary 2 to arm and auxiliary 1 to switch between angle and acro. Running the motors at a very low RPM to break them in. Hopefully to make the motors last a bit longer.
And that was a successful first flight with this new Tiny Whoop style drone. Now, the most important part of this video is actually the FPV camera and the mount that I'm going to use to actually fix it to the frame. Jumping on the Thingiverse webpage and searching for Tiny Whoop brings up a smorgasbord of different camera mounts for the FPV camera for the Tiny Whoop frame. The one I settled on was this one here by NorCal 3D. This particular mount has a nice light option, only 0.6-ish grams. So this is the one that I'll be printing for my Tiny Whoop. Instead of using a PLA, ABS or even PETG to make this particular mount, I want it to be durable as it's going to crash quite a lot and I want it to be printed as thin as possible to be uh, as light as possible on the frame. So no better material than a flexible material. And one of the easiest flexible materials you can buy is this Polymaker Polyflex. So I still have this roll from when I reviewed the Polymaker material. So this is extremely flexible, as, as you can see. It's not as flexible as a, as a real TPU, but it prints just as easily as a PLA. And being flexible, it's not going to break. So it's going to do the job that I need. I have quite a lot of it here. So let's get printing. best part about printing with flexible filaments, you can just peel them off the print bed like a sticker. Oh, still hot. And here it is, the FPV camera mount printed in Polymaker's Polyflex white. As you can see, I can squish it down so that's not going to break on the frame. Came out pretty well, took about five and a half minutes to finish printing, which wasn't too bad. It did slow down uh, up along here because uh, it didn't reach the minimum layer time, so I had to slow down the print speed to reach the minimum layer time, but that's that's mandatory to get a nice, uh, a nice finish, just like I have here. And you'll see there's a little gap on this side. That's for the power wires to stick through from the FPV camera. So let's see if it works. Yep, it's going through, pull them through, guide the camera into the sleeve of the mount. It's a bit of a tight fit, but that's pretty good because this is flexible, so it should, there it goes, should hold it in place a lot better than if it was just a hard piece of PLA or ABS or PETG. And I'll just take this out for a moment and we'll see how much it weighs. Bring in my scales. Turn them on. Okay, they zero out. Hit the tear button. Okay, what are we looking at? 0 0.7 grams. So now what's left to do is to unscrew the three mounting points from the flight controller and attach the camera mount through those screw holes, just like that. And there it is. It took a couple of minutes actually. The smaller they are, the more fiddly these things are. The mount is now screwed down firmly to the three anchor points surrounding the control board onto this frame. You can see it has that 20 degree inclination. Because it's printed in a flexible material, you can see the camera will kind of swivel on the frame, so that's going to absorb any impact when it comes crashing down, unintentionally of course. Now, I'm hoping that the camera isn't going to fly out of this particular uh, case, because I can kind of, if I pull hard enough, this will come out. So I'll have to see if this is tight enough. If it isn't, I might just put a rubber band 
around it or even reprint this again uh, with a thicker extrusion to, to make it a little bit smaller or even just to scale it down to say 99% to make it a little bit tighter. But either way, it's looking pretty good. I just need to solder on the uh, power wires from the FPV camera uh, into the battery connector here and I'm ready to go for a fly. But just before we do that, let's measure the weight. So just the drone and the camera and the mount is 19.8. We'll include the giant power 50C uh, 220 milliamp battery. All up weight, 25.2 grams.